Hey guys, it's Sydney. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the time when I went to Playlist Live. I wanted to make this video because I'm going back to Playlist Live again this year, which never thought that would happen because after I kind of grew out of my like YouTube phase, I like stopped watching it completely. It's so weird seeing like what, what I used to like, like the people and the video types that I used to like compared to now what I watch. One day I went on Instagram and I looked up all the old YouTubers that I used to watch and some of them don't do YouTube anymore. Some of them had kids. It's just like where these people have gone since like my sophomore year of high school, I'm now a freshman in college. It's so crazy and so weird because I grew up, but I never really imagined them growing up. So yeah, today what I'm gonna do basically is I'm gonna explain my experience. I am gonna show some pictures and remember as much as I can. That was almost four years ago, so my memory's not great. I'm gonna start from the beginning. First so. day we go in and we didn't know what to do. We didn't know how any of it worked. So when I originally recorded this video, I talked about how I bought my ticket on Craigslist and I bought two tickets for the price of one with a girl that I didn't know very well. Um, when I say we, I'm talking about me and this other girl. I had to cut all of it out because I went on for like ever about Craigslist and nobody cares about that. So back to the video. So we're kind of walking around. I saw some other friends from school. My friend had to go to her meetup, so I was like, okay, well, I'll meet you afterwards. Um, just text me and I'll find you. I don't, I'll just go explore somewhere. I eventually made my way to this like outside area and there was like a fence and there was like a group of people there, but it wasn't too many people. It was kind of like a rooftop almost. So I walked over there. I like sat down for a little bit, was just taking a break. And then I realized that like YouTubers were like walking from this door past this gate and down the stairs. I just want everybody to know that I am well aware of how many times I said like in that one sentence and I just don't have an excuse for it, so. Wherever I was at, still couldn't tell you to this day how to get there or anything. There is a metal gate and security standing there because the door to the building, like you go in and then this is all glass paneling, but they have like sheets covering it. So they all come down from their room, go to this little meeting area, and in order to get to their meetups, they have to walk out this door, past the metal gate, and down the stairs to get on a golf cart to go to their meetups. So I happened to stumble upon the greatest, greatest place that I could have ever been in. So I don't really know why I got so into it in this part of the video, but I think I was just remembering how I felt and it was amazing. But um, I'm being so extra about it and I'm sorry for it. And so I'm standing there and at this place, I met so many YouTubers. There was tons of people that I knew, but then there was also people that I didn't know. These are just the ones that I have saved because they're posted on my Instagram, linked in the bio. The first person I got a picture with was Troy Sivan. So I'll insert that here. I didn't really get a picture with him, but um, that was the closest I got because some of them would stop to take pictures, but other ones were in a rush. And like I understood, some of them just had to like leave and go. So this was as close as I got. And then I also got a picture with Tide Levi. He was super nice. Look at his little dimple. I met Alexa Losi. I met Kevin Droniak. He was super nice. I do remember that because I saw him multiple times throughout Playlist. And he was just a really nice guy. He wanted to talk to everybody. And oh my gosh, I was like crying at this point. I met Zoella and I met Sprinkle of Glitter, who now that's not even her name. I can't even, now her name is Louise Pentland and she's a parenting vlogger. She has kids now, like, that's crazy. And they stayed for a long time to talk. I think they knew what was going on. Like they knew the area and they knew people would be waiting. So they like left early and they had plenty of time. They talked to everybody. A lot of them were willing to sign stuff. I didn't really care about getting anything signed. My favorite picture out of all of this playlist experience was this one right here. My man, Marcus Butler, who I don't even follow anymore. <laughs> So I remember Marcus, he, we had a whole conversation. I don't remember what it was about. Oh, that's what it was. I gave him gum. So yeah. Also at the same place, I met Alexis Gizal and Ryan Abe and Lucas Cruikshank, who is Fred. So all those were pretty cool. I also met um, Harrison Webb and I didn't know who he was. He looked kind of familiar. I had no clue who he was, but um, he was eating sun chips. He gave me a chip. I remember that. So basically that was all the people that I met at that little area. Um, I remember I did see Andrea Russett walk by, I saw Leah Marie Johnson walk by, but they were like in a rush, so they just had to go. 
I'm telling you, going to playlists with friends, I mean, yeah, it's great because you're not alone, but you'll meet so many more creators if you go alone because it's just easier to get into places when you're solo, you know? There was a lot of people I took pictures with. I didn't know who they were, but I figured I could figure out who they were afterwards. One person that I did think was really cool, I cannot remember what this guy's name is. It's, it's that one right there. I think it's like Chase Gorig or something. He was on America's Got Talent a few years ago and I was like, holy crap, I literally met this kid at Playlist, but I didn't like know who he was. So that was cool. He was on Dance Moms, that kid. I don't remember his name. Um, and then other people I met, there's these twins I met, don't know who they are. I met Ricky Dillon, that was awesome. I also, later that night, went to another gate outside thing and I met Fun For Louie. I used to be obsessed with his vlogs. Josh Sobo, Glozell, Brittany Ann Taylor. So at the time of Playlist, I didn't know who Brittany was and it was really weird because I was watching Shane Dawson's conspiracy videos and I realized that I knew who she was because I had met her and I just remember she was like the sweetest person ever. Um, the first thing she said was, I love your hair and she was just such a nice person even though she, I don't know if she knew that I didn't know who she was. After seeing Shane's video, I just feel so bad for everything that happened to her because she just really doesn't deserve it. I met Jack Dale, I met Alex from Target, so that was awesome. So basically I met a lot of YouTubers throughout the day whether I knew them or not. So before I went to Playlist, there was this app called Star Maker that I found, and they were like a partner with Playlist, and basically they were having a contest where you could win and get to sing on stage with Liam Marie Johnson or these two other people. You just had to do it online ahead of time on the app, um, send in your submission, or you could go to the booth in person at Playlist and sing for them. It's like a karaoke app, and they were gonna choose one winner to sing with each artist, so three winners total, and if you won, then you got to meet the artist and you got to sing on stage with them on the main stage at Playlist Live. So I went in, I think the first day, and I auditioned, and I was so nervous, and I remember it sounded so bad, but I was talking to the producer guy, and basically they said, okay, well, we'll take your information, and then tomorrow at 10 a.m., come back. We're gonna be announcing who the winners are. The next day, I went back to the booth. They're like, okay, so and is gonna be singing with so-and-so, this person, that, um, and Sydney will be singing with Leah. And I literally, like, I don't know, like, I wasn't, it just didn't feel real, basically. And I was like, okay, so I'm gonna be singing on stage, like, at Playlist, like, what? So I call my mom, and so she's freaking out. So they take us backstage, and they take us to like a kitchen area almost and the three artists are there and so we get to meet them one-on-one -on -one, and we talk about their song and so I meet Leah. Leah was like the sweetest person ever. We sang through the song. Um, there's people recording us the whole time because they're like trying to promote the app and everything. So basically did that. We went into the green room which was really cool and I saw some people there and I was just like like I was I remember I was like so close to all these all these youtubers and I was just freaking out and Leah's just like sitting there because like these are just her friends but to me I was like oh my god where am I it was like YouTube heaven and so then after that then they let us go um, we went off did our own thing for a while and then they had us come back and we each one-on-one -on -one got to go on stage and sing our song so I will put the link to that in the bio because um, it still exists on YouTube today it's really bad just so you know like I don't sound good at all and in the beginning of the video, fun fact, um, you can see Leah look at me and she like whispers something and then I laugh. And she was asking me at the beginning, she goes, wait, what's the first words again? Homegirl, this is your song. You should know this. You wrote this. Like, this is yours. But I thought it was really funny. And basically because I won the contest with Star Maker, um, Playlist had this thing where they rent out all of Universal and they let all the creators go run free. They get to do whatever they want and then there's like a certain amount of wristbands they would give out. And so they gave each of the winners two wristbands each. And in Universal, um, there was not very many people and we were all let in and we're all watching their Snapchat stories. I ended up noticing that a lot of them looked like they were in the Harry Potter thing. This place was a gold mine. I met so many people in Little Diagon Alley. In there, I met JC Kalen, Gen X Penn, Joe Sugg, Jim Chapman, Lo Anthony, that's So Jack, Andrew Lowe, Alfie Days, um, Dominic DeAngelis, RCL Beauty 101, Rachel Levin, Sawyer Hartman, and I saw Leah Marie Johnson again. And so that was cool. So I took a picture with her again. And then later on, I was walking around the park trying to find more people. And I don't remember how, but I was walking through Krusty Land. 
and I look over and I see Leah, JC, and Dom all sitting at a table um, eating tacos or something. I make eye contact with Leah and she's like, waves at me and she's like, oh hey, come over here, come sit down. And I was freaking out. I was like, oh my God. And I remember I tried to take a video of like us talking while I was sitting there and then the audio started to play and I freaked out so I hit delete. Um, but like I didn't say anything. I was just sitting down with them while they ate and they literally didn't even talk to me the whole time. But I remember thinking, wow, this was a great experience. I remember I was just so happy like after it was all over. I was like, oh my God, that was great. I remember I slept in the next day. I didn't go to school and I was like, wow, that was just an amazing weekend. And I just, I thought it was just just great. So I am excited to go back again this year. The only issue is I've realized as they keep releasing like creators that are going, I don't know ha more than half of the creators going. So there's only a few people that I'm like gonna go to like try and meet. I might go to some of the like creator panels if I can because now that I'm making YouTube videos, I'd like to learn more if I can. That's about it for this video. If you're going to play this live this year, comment that down below. I will leave the link to the video I did with Leah Marie Johnson down below. Um, again, I'm telling you it's not good. Like I promise you I sound better than that. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I think that's about it. So thanks for watching. See you next time. I might go to the sum. I might go to the, I will leave the subscription to, what am I saying?